Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you subscribe and ring that bell so you are the first to know when a video is uploaded. Today we'll be making these super cute designer bag goodie bags, so if you want to know how to create these, stay tuned. When you're in Google, um, you can see, let's see, I Googled, I believe it was just purse, or you could do designer purse. I will go to the top and see exactly what it is I Googled, uh, but I don't want to lose this purse. And so what you're going to do is I just click on it and sometimes it'll come up here. And if the purse that you want comes up here, um, you can just right click it. And I do copy image so that all I have to do is go into my software and paste it. You can save the image if you want, but it's, it's up to you. You can see here that the resolution is really high. Um, 2000 by 2000 is, is really good. So that would be a good image. Um, I chose this one so it doesn't open, but it's going to open in a different um, browser. So it goes to a website and then all I did was the same process from there. So I right click and copy image. So once I click that, then I can go into my software and we'll paste it in there. So let me go back to Google and see exactly what it was that I searched. Um, oh, so Louis Vuitton purses. So you can do designer purses, you can do regular purses, whatever your preference, whatever you're looking for. I would just go to a Google search and then I would go to images and see what I could find that has a high resolution just so that my, um, my print will come out a lot better. So now we're going to head over to Silhouette so that we can paste it in the software. Now that I'm in Silhouette Studio, I'm going to take the image that I copied from Google and I'm going to paste it in. The next thing you want to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to go to your tracing panel. Select the image that you want to trace. And then I'm going to come to the threshold and I'm going to bring that all the way up until my image is pretty much solid yellow. And at the bottom, I'm going to hit trace. Now I'm going to leave everything where it's at and I'm just going to select it also. I'm going to take my mouse and just drag it across the image and the trace that we just did. I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to go to object, modify, and crop. So you'll see that it took um, the white part out of the handle um, and, and it deleted the background. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to select your image and I'm going to come over here to my offset panel and I'm going to click offset and I'm going to bring that down to 0 0.001. You can hit enter on your keyboard or you can hit apply and you'll see that it pretty much covers the lines. Um, on here, but what when I remove the purse, you'll see that there's lots of other cuts. And I, I only want the machine to cut around the purse, so I will release the compound pad. So you'll see there's a bunch of different cuts. So if I move this one, you'll see this is a part of the handle. So I want that. Let me move that back in place. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm gonna hit um, shift on my keyboard and select the purse. And I'm gonna group those two. So now when I move it away, all those other pieces are not there so I can get rid of those. Okay, so I'm gonna change the line color on this one to black, just so that I know the difference because I'm gonna have to do another offset. So let's see. change those to black and I'm going to do the same process again I'm going to hit I'm going to select my image hit offset but this time I'm only going to do an offset of 0 0.050 so it'll be a little bit bigger and then I can remove my purse and when I click this offset I'll keep this one red and this is going to be the paper the cardstock for the back of the purse this one I'm going to bring it back over because again, this is what I want when we do the print and cut. I'm going to tell my machine to cut by black line and it'll just cut that outline. 
So I'm gonna select the offset and the purse. I'm gonna come back over here and there's three bars. It's called the transform panel. I'm gonna click on that and then I can center the purse back to the offset. So I can center it horizontally and vertically. And then I'm gonna group those two. Okay, so now I can bring this back over here because I wanna resize my purse to the size that I want it. So whatever you choose, you can select it all and make sure you don't do those um, one at a time. But when everything is together, then you can take it and you can group it. Or I'm sorry, you can resize it. And then once you've done that, you're going to turn on your registration marks. Okay, so I can remove this for now. Now that everything is sized, I can move that to the side because the only thing I'm doing now is I'm going to send this to my printer so that um, we can do a print and cut. So the next thing I would do is just head on over, go to file, print, and I would print this if this is the size that I wanted. And then I'll show you guys when I send it to the machine that if I cut by line, so up here I change it to line, and you'll see that the only thing that's going to cut out is just around the purse. So once you have that cut, you can move that and you can turn off your registration marks and you can cut this one just like you normally would. And this is going to be the backing for your purse. So once you have that done, um, you have one piece. You're going to want to do that same process, but you're going to um, select everything and you're gonna flip it, right click, flip horizontally, and then you can do all of that again. Um, and you don't have to do, you can, you don't have to do it like that, just depending on the size of your purse. You could, honestly, you could select everything, you can duplicate it. And so they're going the same way. So I'm gonna take this one, flip it horizontally, so now you'll see like this tag here is now on this side, you're gonna need that. So if you had enough room, you, what you could do is line it up um, and keep these two pieces to cut. Um, you know, obviously if I'm printing on eight and a half by 11, I'm not gonna have enough room to cut those without them cutting on top of each other. So that's why I do it separately. But, you know, let's say for instance, if this was a little bit smaller, then when I go to cut, I would have enough room to cut both of those once my registration marks were on. Um, but either way, whatever you choose to do, you just will, you'll need one um, facing this way and then the other one facing the other way in the opposite direction. So you wanna make sure that you repeat that process twice, one facing this way and one facing that way. Now that all your items are cut, you're just going to take those backings and the purse from the print and cut and you're going to add a little bit of glue so you can adhere the two. So now you're going to grab your box. These boxes came from Hobby Lobby. I believe they're called Gable boxes. Um, yeah, I believe you can get them online. But you're just going to assemble your box and then you're going to take those two pieces of your purse and adhere um, one to each side.
So here I used some little pop dots that I had and I just used those so that the handle of the purse I could kind of um, make those stick to the gable box handles. You don't have to do this. Um, I just like the way that it looked or you can use a piece of string or if you're going to do like a thank you tag or something this would be a good place to um, adhere those handles to the box. And there you go. Now you have super cute designer bags that you can use at your next party or event for goodie bags. I'm excited to see what you guys create. So if you guys want to head over to the different social media and follow me, I'll have all of those links down below. Again, if you guys have any questions or if anything wasn't clear, please reach out and I'll do the best that I can to help you. Um, other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.